Lydia Daydoff, I Connect TV, and I'm here at Billy O'Sullivan's Kickboxing Gym in Waterford with multiple time champion Sarah White and her coach Billy Sullivan. How are you? Good. Nervous. Yeah, Nervous. Very. Listen, for, for someone that's in now that ring as much as you are, this is a walk in the park for you. No, it's not. Yeah. How are we? Good to have you on the show. Thanks for having me. So listen, we're down here. You have. Let's start off. Look at all these medals. What have we got here? How we many have, have we got? Nine world champion titles. Hang and these up. They're probably all full now. Look at these. And I have seven Irish titles. So uh, kickboxing is the discipline. Yeah, kickboxing. How long have you been training kickboxing? Um, eight years. Right. So how old were you when you started? Nine. Unbelievable. Yeah. So talk to me about starting out. What was it? Where did you go to your mum? Like, listen, I want to train. Were you brought down to the gym? How did this happen? No, I was brought down with my cousins one day because they were here. And yeah. I said I'd go down and see what's like. So then I went down. Never Can you remember that first day? Yeah. What was it like? Like, not really like. Yeah. What did you do when you came in? Just messing around? Yeah. Yeah. Can you remember seeing? <laughs> Can you remember seeing like you know who was here? What were the adults doing? No, Everyone kind of trained. Remember everything. everything? No, like I can just remember coming. Like yeah. What was it? Do you think that 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 caught your attention and made you actually want to keep training? Was it just kind of fun it started and then yeah, just it sort of built it, like. up? Yeah. Yeah. And when was it that you decided to start competing? Um, a year or two after. Yeah. And what was that like? Nervous. Yeah. Can you remember where it was? Dublin, I think I had to fight my cousin. No way! How, how was that like? That was okay. Yeah. <laughs> Did you win? <laughs> that was a draw. <laughs> I bet it was. <laughs> so listen, you know, obviously, like we were looking at your titles here, like massive achievements for someone that's still so young. How old are you now? Seventeen. Seventeen. Um, what is the kind of mindset for you now when you're going away to to compete like this at a, such a high level? That's <laughs> <laughs> tell the truth, tell the truth. I mean, what's it like for you to go away fighting? Like, I mean, these, these are massive competitions, you know? Uh, I'm not, it's okay, like, yeah. I don't mind that. <laughs> like, don't get I don't get nervous. Don't get That's what I mean, nine times world champion, and she's so humble. Yeah. She don't get nervous. No, I don't. Yeah. Not at all. What's, what's she like, Billy, when she's going to fight? Oh, she's grand, it's not a problem to her. Yeah. No, she's ready, but she's always ready. She's always ready. Yeah. I mean, she knows she has a great parent behind her. The important thing is her parents are behind her. Yeah. That's what's important. Everywhere she goes, her mum is there. Yeah. You know, that she has that support, which is very important for any fighter, any kids, to have their parents supporting them yeah. and backing them, you know what I mean? Do you see a quality in Zara that, you know, that you can, you can kind of distinguish to why she's actually coming out with, with nine world championship titles? I, 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 I just say this. And this is some guys, and we see this now on TV, and they say, Billy, you're crazy. I'm not. I compare Sarah when she was young, I would say two years ago, at the same age the lemon drop was. At the same age now. I'm not saying now, like, you know, at the same age that Paul was and that she was then, she come out tops. Now, that's the I can't pay her a higher compliment than that because he was like a son to me. At the age, the same age groups, she have that. When someone fights her, they have to hurt her, and once they hurt her, that's it. That's it. We close our eyes. What happens? She just boom, <laughs> explodes. She's good at sparring now. She spars, but she spared one of the lads, and they go a bit hard. We just turn our backs, because we know what's going to happen. You're going to hear a thump on the floor. Are they going to see somebody run in there with a bloody nose? She what, just wakes up. What's that life for you, Zara, to know that you kind of like, because you're, you're 17, you know, you're, you're a girl, you yeah. know, and to know that you have the ability and the power to, to be in the ring with a, 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 a male, older, bigger, stronger than you, and to, to be able to protect yourself like that. It's good, like, just yeah. proves like girls are better. Like, <laughs> equal, girls are equal, girls are equal. <laughs> <laughs> let's not let's not get a fine here or you know <laughs> everyone's equal in this game <laughs> but I mean like uh, to you know to to have that does it give you a certain confidence I suppose yeah I suppose like mm -hmm. so what's are you obviously still in school are you yeah what school are you in Kilmac oh in a way so uh, obviously your your schoolmates they all know that you fight mm, most of them yeah 
what do they do they ever say like why are you doing this or comment on it? I really like do you kind of Do they get behind you when you go to fight? <laughs> <laughs> Not really like I don't really tell anyone like You don't no. tell anyone. No. Why not? what what is it about it? You just it's my thing like. Yeah. So like why would I tell everyone my business? <laughs> <laughs> well that is true. That is well, sometimes some people would argue that if you had nine world titles you'd be, you know, yeah. <laughs> wearing them in in the <laughs> down city center. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's next in terms of like your next voice or um, next competition? We're looking at Florida in America in July or either Italy in October. Brilliant, okay. And then when you go over there, will they be title defences? Will they be world yeah, titles? World. Yeah. Okay, perfect. And in terms of opponents, is there, you know, at this stage of your career, you know, obviously when we look at like professional athletes, there is always either a call out or someone that they want to test themselves again. Is there somebody in your division that's kind of other world champions that you have your eye on? No, not really. Does it matter? Is it just kind of we get over and you get the bracket and that's it, we yeah. fight? Yeah. She don't care. She doesn't care. <laughs> She'd been offered stuff in schools, hasn't she? The, the school wanted to honour her and she wouldn't go to school. She don't want the limelight. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. I don't understand it. And I'm sure the lads don't understand that. She don't want the limelight. She wants to stay in the back and do what <coughs> do what talking in the ring. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Tom. The lads are giving her a grade in here. Well, listen, Billy. I mean, uh, for anyone that's watching that, that's taking inspiration from what Zara is doing, any young kids, what would you say to them? I said, pick a sport. It doesn't have to be our sport. Pick a sport. Set your mind on what you have to set yourself a target in life, yeah. especially the fight game. If you don't set, set yourself a target, mm -hmm. you know you're not going anywhere. So you're reaching a goal. Reach a goal. Don't have to be the best, but reach a certain goal in your life and say, "I done it." Yeah. How many people have come to us and said, "I should have done this years ago." Mm -hmm. You know, I'm sorry I didn't do this years. Ago. We've we've all heard it, yeah. but it, you're on your own in there. <laughs> it's a tough game. You have to have that right as well as that. That's what you have to have. But it keeps them off the streets. That's the important thing of all. Keeps them off of the streets. Yeah. Well, listen, I wish you the best of luck when you go away. Thank I'm you. looking forward to interviewing. I'm going to stay on you. I'm not letting you away with this. We're going to have an interview every year for the next however long you're, you're, you're in the sport. Um, but listen, I wish you all the best of luck. And thank you very much for sitting. I know it wasn't easy for you to well, do. You hate, you hate <laughs> interviews. <laughs> Zara White, multiple time world champion and her coach Billy O'Sullivan here at Billy O'Sullivan Kickboxing Gym in Waterford.